everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl IG of Kukri IG and in today's episode I'll be showing you how to make vegetable fish sauce if you're new to my channel welcome kindly click on the subscribe button and notification bell so that when I make new uploads you'll be the first to see them now let me introduce my ingredients quickly before we process them so we have my pumpkin leaves my ugu leaves then I have my vegetable oil onions some tomatoes some yellow peppers some red chili peppers and some green peppers and of course my fish which is the major ingredient so I'm just going to start by deboning my fish and the reason why we're doing this is because we want to get all of the bones out we don't want to get choked while we're eating and for this recipe I want to I want to cut the fish into strips just like fillets so that's like the major thing for this recipe so i'm just going to carefully take out all of the bones until i'm through and then cut my fish into strips so now my fish is ready to be cut into strips as you can see how i'm cutting it into my desired sizes you can cut it into any shape you want but for this recipe i prefer to cut it this way and i'm just going to repeat the process until i'm done then i'll marinate my fish so if you want to see how i marinated my fish i'll just keep the link in the description box below so that you can check it out So now that we're done marinating, we'll just set the fish aside and proceed to the rest of the ingredients and prepare them before we cook. So while we're preparing the rest of our ingredients, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and don't forget to click on the notification bell for more updates. I'll be glad to have you all on my page all of the time. Thank you. So all our ingredients are finally prepared and ready to be used. I have some ground crayfish, some salt to taste, my ginger garlic paste, some stock cubes, vegetable oil, my marinated fish. Then I have my pumpkin or ugu leaves that I've sliced properly. I have my ground tomatoes because I've already grated them. I didn't want it to be smooth so I had to use my manual blender. The same thing with the pepper. I had to grate all of them with the manual blender because I wanted it to have this rough consistency. The pot, add some vegetable oil. Now remember that you're cooking on low heat and you don't want your food to get burnt. So what we're going to do is just to add a slice of onion into our oil to test the heat of the oil before we add in the rest of the onions. So 
so i'll just give this a quick stir before i add in my ginger garlic paste now i'll be leaving the link of the ginger garlic paste in the description box below for those of us who do not know what it is So I'm just going to give this another stir for a few more seconds before I add in the fish because I want all of my ingredients properly mixed in because we want all of that flavor, we want all of the taste, we want everything in its fullness for this recipe, we don't want anything left out. So we'll just add in our marinated fish into our ginger and onion mixture and then give it another quick stir for a few minutes. The reason why we're doing it is so we can extract all of that juice from the fish. Remember that we're cooking this on low heat and we don't want any bonds so we don't want the fish to get stuck at the bottom of the pot. So we'll just keep stirring until we've extracted all of the juice as you can see now and we'll just add in our grated pepper then give it another quick stir so that all of the flavors will be fully incorporated into our dish. You need to perceive the aroma of this dish. I mean I cannot really explain it. Next I'll just be pouring my blended tomatoes over my fish and I'll just cover it for a few seconds to simmer a little. Yeah, now it's ready and I've added my seasoning powder and I'm just going to add some ground crayfish and I'm going to add in some salt to taste. Now I'll advise that you're very careful with salt because remember you already marinated your fish so you don't want your food to be over tasty or over spicy, you want everything moderate. Remember to taste for salt in your food so that you don't leave your food too salty or less salty, whichever one you prefer. So we're just going to give it one more quick stir and then we add in our vegetable which is going to be our last ingredient and then we'll give it a very 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 quick stir. Right now this is the last process and we don't want our vegetables overcooked so we're going to do this as quickly as possible and then we cover for it to simmer for like 5 seconds and then we're done we'll turn off our cooker and our food is ready. Yay, and my vegetable fish sauce is ready. You know, this dish is packed with a whole lot of protein, vegetables, vitamins, plus the aroma. I mean, I'll just be enjoying this dish with some plain rice. You can equally enjoy this with yam, plantains, potatoes, name it. Please try out this recipe at home and let me know what you think about it. Thank you all for staying in. I love you all. Bye.